It says it's out of service. Out of service for what? What's up, what we getting? guys so right now we down here we waking up in the laredo ter terminal it's like three in the morning we're about to go um leave out of here drive up to ta hillsboro get some fuel from there um thinking about getting my what is it my inspection done up there I just don't know how long they gonna take. But I'm really, really, really considering just going ahead and get my inspection done there. I heard a lot of horror stories about guys getting inspections done at TAs and stuff like that. They find them like one good shot, try to get their inspection done, and they go from there. So, this could possibly be a risk, man. A time waster, whatever you wanna call it, but we about to see, so about to leave out here. Go get this trailer inspected before we go over there. I'm gonna see how once we get to rolling. Rolling. Okay. All right, y'all. So we made it to the, uh, the TA over here in Hillsborough, Texas. I uh, I honestly set me up in a little appointment time for 9 a.m. up here on the TA app, so that just in case somebody come in my spot to be hell so right now we about to go in here check in see if they got anybody i don't see no trucks in the bays i see the drivers i see a couple uh a couple of the guys walking around in there so we about to see man hopefully they get me in and get me out of here i don't know man i should have made asked the uh landstar facebook group about the ta in hillsborough because you know a lot of these tas we just trying to get over on you because they know that once you come here and get an inspection you can't leave you can't leave off their uh facility last quarter last our policy until whatever the issue is need to be fixed so probably try to get in here and get my truck and trailer inspected because if y'all seen the last video the trailer was inspected back in november so we'll see broly So they're obviously not certified here. So it's another Petro right up the road that I can go get it done. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to just give me some fuel right quick. And then, because the fuel cheaper. Let me see how much the fuel is, to be honest. While I'm sitting there saying, it's always cheaper. This is probably one of the cheapest places in Texas to get fuel. Uh, so it's a dollar fifty here to get fuel. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a dollar fifty here to get fuel. So about to get some fuel, then head up to that petrol up there. See if they can do a truck and trailer inspection for me. We'll catch y'all after that. Roll it. Alright y'all, so basically I just uh I just did a I just did a truck service order at that uh that Petro up the road she said Carl's Corner. I just did a truck service order so uh when I get up there nobody could jump me and they gotta they supposed to TA supposed to honor that so we about to see when I get up there. A few moments later Hey, uh, you did say you can't do Landstar trucks and trailers until Friday, right? Um, yes. What what time do they normally get in? Uh, they should be in at eight o'clock. All right, thank you. Uh huh. All right, bye. So it looks like at this point we won't be able to get a uh, inspection done on my tractor trailer. It's uh, it's due on um. 
the third. I gotta have it done before the third. So, gotta figure out a way to get it done before next week. I think the third is next week, right? Let me look at my calendar. Yep. Oh, next Friday. So I gotta have it done today the 25th. So I gotta have it done before next Friday. So that should be cool. I should find somewhere to get it done. But I just don't, uh, maybe I need to find somewhere by the house to get it done. That might be better for me. I don't know, man, cause I gotta get this done. So they don't put me on hold or whatever they put put you on a red or I don't know what you call it. This is gonna be my actual first one getting done because I was supposed to be and get one done, but when I end up getting this truck here, uh, that the inspection, everything that got done, it was suffice to last me till April the third or whatever. So I don't know. I guess we're gonna keep rolling today. I'm gonna just take my 30 minute break here, and then I got like five hours left on my clock, and we'll just go from there. Rolling. The next, oh, the next morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning. It's um Thursday, March 26th. You guys see, it's like three something in the morning. So right now we uh we're about to do our pre-trip and uh excuse me, head over to um Edwardsville, Illinois. Get unloaded on this load. Um, hopefully, along the way, I find something that I can book. If not, I'll probably just be at home. So, we'll see, man. I, I need something good to finish off my week, man. But, uh, like I said, it's the next morning. We're about to hit, hit this toll, pay for this toll right quick, and uh, keep going. So, I'm gonna see y'all once we get over to Ellisville. Rolly. Six and a half hours later. It take a long time to load you here? Huh? It take a long time to load you here? It all depends, man. I just seen people come in and be done and be out of here in 45 minutes. I seen people come in and it'll be six hours. All right, guys, we back to one place I said I wasn't gonna come back to. This place that took me like three hours to unload because I had, uh, I guess them was some refrigerators last time. I don't know what it is this time to be honest. So I'm guessing it's gonna take three hours to unload. Point of time is it? Oh shoot. They got rules on their doors. Hold on. To maintain space needed to a proper social distance, we suggest the driver's lounge be kept to a maximum of two people. There's two more people in the room than waiting along the fence. We don't gotta go to the drive down, we just gotta check in. This gonna suck, bro. This gonna take a while. I can already tell. Cause it don't even look like there's a lot of people working today. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, y'all can't see that, but down there, it's literally a ton. A ton, ton, ton. Literally a ton of forklifts ton of forklifts down there. Let's go check in. Was I supposed to sign that or anything? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it on low. Oh no, that's me. Oh. Can I get you to sign right there? All right, sir. I need you to back your trailer in door East 19, which is on the other side of the building. Okay. Make sure your cannons are slid back, doors are open. Once you back in, I need you to disconnect and leave the yard. Mm -hmm. There's a truck stop right up the street, that's where everybody goes. Okay. How, How long, long do you have to take down lower? What? How long do you have to take down lower? Your appointment's at 10, but we usually say two to three hours. Okay. Uh, once you're unloaded, I'll give you a phone call. You come back in here, I'll give you a copy of your bills to tell you where your trailer is. Okay. Thank you. It's now 922. They want me to drop it in E19, that's around the back. Go drop it there. I got a lead a premises, so we in Harrisville. I'm about to go to the crib after I drop this uh after I drop this trailer in the door and wait for them to call me. Ooh, I might can go get a little haircut today. See, it might work out, but I do got another load I gotta go pick up, guys. It's going to um Damn, he didn't break this. Why he shoot. Hold on. 
Here's me breaking the seal. Get my bow cutters out. Open the door, then go back. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go give me a little haircut, like I was saying, a little touch up. That's all the stuff I keep in here. Shout out to Chlorides, clean my floors and stuff. Keep some extra straps over here, some of them on the other side. If y'all don't, man, get y'all some of these, man, and bomb your truck. Bomb your truck. Like, that right there, that thing comes in handy. We made it to the barber shop. About to get a cut. My load is actually ready already. They called me, so I'm about to get it. I'm about to get a cut and run in there, run to pick up that load, Rolly. y'all shout out to my boy with brian if you ever in st louis missouri come to next level it's like five minutes away from the um the loves truck stop so just come to this address monday through saturday tuesday through saturday i mean tuesday through saturday that's his number right there he'll get you right so now we about to wait on his uber catch an uber back to the truck stop and go ahead pick up this uh pick up my empty trailer, and then run over to pick up my load and head over to Louisiana. Rolly, okay. Two hours later. So I'm so confused right now, guys. I had to drop this trailer off here and get it loaded, unloaded, I come back, and this is on her. Out of service to AAA shop. And then, it's got this, whatever this thing is right here on there. And I don't, what, I don't know. Like, why is the trailer out of service? They unloaded it completely, but it's out of service. So I'm about to run in here and see what the heck is going on, because I'm so, 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 so. Yeah. I'm so confused. I had, uh, I was supposed to be picking up my empty trailer. Oh, but it's a live load, right? Yeah, it's a red tag on there. And, uh, it's a red tag and one of those, uh, glad hand locks on there. There is a glad hand lock on it? And it's a red tag saying it's out of service. You were in East 19, correct? Yeah. With your trailer in 928? Yeah. And there's a red tag on it? Yeah. So they telling me here that they don't put red tags on trailers and put glad hands on trailer which i'm thinking like this isn't like y'all facility this isn't like a landstar trailer whole facility so why would there be a glad hand and red tag saying it is out of service and if it's out of service i don't understand why didn't nobody come and come and take it like like i don't i'm so confused right now for the next available maintenance coordinator. All associates are busy helping other customers right now, but please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Okay, I apologize. Okay, you back to pick up your trailer and a red tag is on it. Where's, where's it located? It's in Edwardsville, Illinois. Um, what, what do the red tag say? It says it's out of service. Out of service for what? And it's not saying, and the customer here saying they don't they don't put trailers out of service and put glad hands on them. 
So they're not sure who did this and why is out of service. Triple A. Okay, Triple A went out to inspect this trailer this morning and they put it out of service because it failed the 120 day inspection for shop. So one moment, let me call Triple A and find out the shop there. Um, I'm, she's supposed to be sending them back because she don't think they did anything. Have the, on the left side of the uh, trailer is the inspection form. Um, I mean, the sticker been changed? No. Okay. Um, what's the number to call you right back, please? Uh, okay, give them about 10 minutes because I'm going to have them to release this trailer because they haven't did the inspection. So give me about 10 minutes and I'll call you right back, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. 9487. Again, the number is 800 872 You saying, uh, can I get to the pickup without um, using my hours? Yeah. Um, if the broker approves it, like maybe the broker takes us off the load, but if he doesn't take us off the load and he insists that we pick up, that's what I'm asking. I heard. Okay, and what happens if you if you drive uh, after those hours? You go into violation? Yeah, I'm gonna go into a violation and I won't be able to. I tell guys this all the time. It's not land store. It's the agents. Y'all heard this agent ask me to try to manipulate my logs so that I can pick up a load. So, I don't know, to be honest. This, this all kind of sucks. It sucks bad for me, you know? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've never been in this situation before at all. And I had two lows that I had, and one of them had to get canceled. He's trying to see if I can pick up that other load tomorrow so they don't lose it. Um, that way I'm gonna have to just deliver it Monday to Louisiana. So I, I don't know guys, I don't know. The trailer is saying that it's out of service. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to shop. I already, Lancer already called and yelled at me for putting it out of service. Uh, you got some leaking shocks and the 120 is due. So I called my, I'm trying to get a hold of my tech that put it out of service and have him come over there and take the lock off um and if he has time he'll do the inspection if you don't want him to that's completely up to you okay but i'm i'm trying to get a hold of my technician now i i'm already in the process like i said they already called and yelled at me for putting it out of service so i'm trying to get them over there to take care of you all right all right thank you Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey. You yeah. Right, what was wrong with it? Shocks are bad. How long does it take to fix that? Well, it takes about six hours to replace the ones that are bad. Woo. It's all, almost all of them. They're saying that doesn't fail the 120-day inspection. So. It doesn't. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Y'all can do an inspection here? No, I'm not going to do it. No. Oh, okay. I'm not putting my name on something I think that should be fixed so okay so just so you know you said it takes six hours right oh yeah it takes a while they're telling us we're not doing it there they want this trail loaded and done, gone so. okay all right thank you I'm just sit here to unlock it okay all right well guys so looks like we gonna have to try to find us another drop and hook load i'm not gonna lie to you now my next load is probably going to be a drop of hook load, so he he unhooked the trailer, as y'all can see. Took the tag off. Um, according to him, Landstar said the shocks won't fail 120 day inspection or something like that, so thinking about just taking it straight to the shop, letting them fix it and picking the trailer back up tomorrow, something like that. So, I don't know, man. This was an interesting, interesting day. This has never happened to me before. Drop my load. It takes three hours to unload. You got to drop your trailer here at the facility. You got to bobtail out, which I did. 
They'll call you when they're ready for you to come back and get your trailer. Came back, got my trailer. I had a red tag on there and a lock on the glad hands. After that, I, um, after that, I called the agent, called Landstar, called the shop, just to make sure this trailer was unhooked. I can get it and roll with it or whatever. All that taken care of. I had to get off a couple of my loads because I'm not gonna have the hours to drive or nothing like that. So, I don't know guys. Tell me what y'all think, man. Comment, uh, type in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for rolling with TB. You hear me?